Hi, I'm Corey from IDParts.com. In this video, I'm going to overview the clutch lever system in a Volkswagen 5C transmission. I'm going to show you and teach you about the clutch release lever, the ball pin, the clip, and show you how to replace all three, including the throwout bearing. To start with, let's look at how this clutch system works. Basically, whenever you press on the clutch pedal, the clutch slave cylinder presses on this lever and pushes the lever forward. When the lever gets pushed forward, the clutch release bearing also gets pushed forward. And this pushes on the pressure plate, which releases the pressure on the clutch disc itself. It goes back and forth. It pivots on the ball pin, which is located right here. There's a few different ways that these systems can fail. So you want to inspect them before you put the clutch back in your car. One, the clutch release lever can bend. That typically happens if you've had a clutch failure or the flywheel came apart, something like that. It's also common in the 2005 and 2006 Jetta TDI with the BRM motor. That BRM TDI is also known for wearing through the ball pin. We've taken a lot of these out of the cars, out of cars where the ball pin has been worn through and there's actually been a hole down here at the clutch release lever. So these are all the components and here I have them on the bench all laid out so we can take a look at them individually. Here's the clutch release lever. The ball pin holds in that little slot. And on this end is where the clutch slave cylinder presses down. This is the ball pin itself. New ball pins you'll see are metal on the bottom. They have a nylon bushing at the top. What holds the clutch release lever to the ball pin is this clutch clip. Not too much to it, but they're about two bucks and they bend really easily. So always grab one of these if you're gonna do a clutch because uh, it's worth it, basically. Lastly is the uh, throwout bearing. Whenever you do a clutch, you really need to replace the throwout bearing. They do wear over time, and they're just as much work as putting a new clutch in. These are very inexpensive. At ID Parts, we include them with all our clutch kits, so there's no reason to not replace them. So now that we have everything laid in front of us, let's get started on replacing the components in this car. The first step in removing the clutch release lever is to disengage the clutch release lever clip. It's right here, and you can see how it sticks through the lever just a little bit. Take your fingers and just press that through, and it'll pop. Then we can push, pull the lever out just like this. With the lever out of the car, we can see it's fairly dirty. That's not too bad, but it's not bent. It doesn't have any cracks. It's fairly straight. It doesn't seem like there's too much wear on it. We're also going to check where the ball pin has been seated. It's a little bit shiny, but it hasn't worn through. It doesn't seem like that needs to be replaced. But we'll replace this lever anyway, uh, just to be safe. Also on this lever is the clutch throwout bearing, which is right here. It's fairly worn. It's got a lot of kind of gunk in it, and the uh, kind of the inner um, radius here has got some marks. So we definitely want to replace that. You can do that by just pushing down on these small tabs right here. You probably need a screwdriver to do it. Done. Now that we're in the transmission, we're gonna take off the clip by just kind of prying it out. That's done. It's kind of bent up, so we'll, we'll throw that out. And what, right here is the clutch release ball pin. The easiest way to remove the ball pin is with a 17 millimeter deep socket and an extension on a ratchet. With the ball pin now out of the car, we can see that it's worn through a lot of that nylon top bushing, so we're going to install a new ball pin. Now with the old components out of the way, we're going to assemble the uh, throw-out bearing with the clutch release lever. The throw-out bearing goes on the kind of the back side of the clutch release lever, away from where the two ball seats are. And we're just going to line up these two ears and clip this into place. We'll take the ball pin, we'll put it right where we took the old ball pin out. And finally, we'll take the clutch release lever clip and we'll clip it to the release lever. The bottom is gonna catch on the bottom edge like this. And we're gonna push the top edge through that little hole. Okay, with the clip and the throw-out bearing all assembled, we're gonna put this back on the car. Slide right over. 
and we're going to push the release lever and the clip onto the ball pin, and it'll click when it's in. With the new release lever, throw up bearing, and clip, and the ball pin installed, we're ready to put this transmission back in the car. Thanks for watching this video.